Hey guys, it's Jocelyn. Um, I'm going to be reviewing I'll Give You the Sun by Johnny Nelson today. So, if you guys want to know what this book is about, then keep on watching. The book today is I'll Give You the Sun by Johnny Nelson. This is a different cover. Um, yes, it has a quilt on it and it says we were all heading for each other on a collision course no matter what maybe some people are just meant to be in the same story <laughs> I kind of ruined the cover I didn't do it intentionally but this 20% off sticker here was here from Target and as you can see it's freaking sticky and all gross and then I, I had eyeliner on that day and it went like this and I accidentally got it on the book <laughs> Which pisses me off so much because I don't like it when my books get ruined or dirty or ugh. Especially because this is white. But, I still love it no matter what. Um, so yeah, and then you open it up and it's the actual book cover that it usually has. So I'll Give You the Sun by Johnny Nelson is about these two twins. Um, their names are Noah and Jude. And they're in both their perspectives. So it's both of their POVs. The only difference is that Noah's POV is when he's 13 years old, going to 14, I believe, and no and Jude's POV is when she's 16 years old. Um, so Noah and Jude, how do I explain it? They're inseparable. When they were younger, like I would say, when they were like babies, they were inseparable. Um, but Jude is more when she was younger, like at 13. She was more of like an outgoing person. She was very popular and she loved the attention. As for Noah, he was more quiet and reserved and he only talked to one person and his family, I guess. Um, but he was very artistic and um, weird, as his sister would say. But that was just him and who they were. And Jude's point of view takes place when she was 16, when they're both 16. But it's three years, obviously it's three years later from when they were 13. But an accident happened when they were 14, so it's the aftermath of when everything went down and all the problems and all the situations happened. During Noah's point of view, Jude is very crazy. She's, I would say, very st stubborn with her mom. Her and her mom don't really get along because she's growing up, she's becoming a teenager, and she's being rebellious. Would any teenager wouldn't do that? I don't know any teenager does that and I, I was but anyways basically she's very like she wants the attention she wants the popularity um so she's kind of like mean to Noah in some ways but at the same time she's not and Noah is very quiet as I said he loves drawing so he will go you know during the summer because this takes place during the summer um he goes to the school, the art school, and he does drawings, like naked drawings and stuff. And the thing is, Noah's gay um, without anyone knowing. I think his parents kind of like have a feeling that he is because he isn't close to his father. He isn't, um, he doesn't watch sports with his father. He doesn't like going out with his father. They usually always argue. So I think they know that they have a feeling that he is, but at the same time, he's not because. You know, you just never know until that person actually says it. But, um, yeah, and Jude, she goes out a lot. She's very rebellious. And she is in love <laughs> with this one guy. And, you know, she loses her virginity with him, which she totally regrets. No, I don't think she, re I don't know if she regrets it, but I think she regrets the day it happened because the day it happened this accident happened I'm not telling you what happened but this accident happened so I think she wished it wasn't that day um Noah he during that summertime he has a neighbor who's this boy who's a year older than him and who goes to a boarding school they get along um they also think he the other boy is weird until they find out that he's a baseball player and that he's very popular and his name is uh, they call him the Axe or something like that. And, um, so knowing him getting very along well, and turns out that the other guy is also gay. So he experienced different stuff with this guy, and, um, he has his first kiss with him. Uh, but later on, he, Noah gets jealous because the other guy doesn't want 
anyone to find out about the relationship or about him being gay at all. So Noah ends up telling, saying it out loud that he's gay when he's walking with this one girl. This whole thing changes and so then uh, the axe stops talking to him and he goes back to boarding school and whatever. Um, Noah kind of changes after that. He regrets it. He's very sorry for it. But then <clears throat> the accident happens and everything completely changes. So at 16, the roles are reversed. So Noah at 16 is now outgoing, rebellious, and popular. And Jude is quiet, reserved, and artistic. So as you can see, their roles have reversed at age 16. And they were both supposed to go to this art school. Um, but something happens and only Jude gets to go. And after the incident and after he finds out that he didn't get into the uh, the institute or whatever, um, Noah stops drawing or so that's what everyone believes. And, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so Jude does that and Jude has this project to do. Um, her counselor tells her that she either gives up her spa or she does this amazing project and whatnot and so she does she decides to do this one project with the help of this one guy who doesn't uh do anymore like he's a sculpture I don't know how to say that but he's one of those persons and he doesn't do them anymore because an incident happened as well with him his lover died so he changes as well he, there's only this one guy who's there with him who helps him out a lot because he helped him as well when he was younger because he was an alcoholic and all this crap. So he helped him, you know, stop being an alcoholic. <laughs> and so Ju gets to know both of them and she gets along with them very well. She learns a lot from him. And then something happens again. So they find out, Jude finds out the truth about her mother. Noah kept this from her. This part is so hard, like... The, I don't know how to say the ending stuff because it's so hard to say because that's basically where you find everything out. But Noah hid something from Jude which is one of the reasons why they stopped talking. Um, so Jude ends up finding out. Then Noah ends up finding out about something else. And so then they both are like, what the hell? And then this the, the guy Jude is working with, the old guy, finds something out about Jude. And then Jude ends up like getting with the guy that the older guy is helping, if that makes sense. I'm not saying names because I totally forgot. After everything, after everyone finds out everything, even his father and Jude, and no one Jude's father finds out everything as well. No one Jude end up actually getting along as well, and no one takes her to the special place that he has been going since he was 13, 14. And so he shows her this amazing things on the walls, and they live happily ever after. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, basically, they leave me book suggestions down below because I am in a reading slump right now. Currently, I always am. It's, don't ask me why. Um, and I don't know what to read either, so, you know, give me books to read, to review. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe if you guys like my channel and my videos. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys in my next video. Bye.